Hey there guys, I'm here doing another tutorial after quite a some time now. Um, and this tutorial will be on how to construct a VCAM using Flash. And more importantly using ActionScript action 3.0. So, uh, you can do, do the virtual cam with ActionScript 2.0 uh, just using a different script. And ActionScript 3.0 will use a different script. So, generally if, if I'm doing something for action script 3 and action script 2 I'll do it on two separate tutorials however for both the cases the process is exactly the same the only difference is that the script you put into the actions panel will be different but that's that's it so now let's open an action script 3.0 document um, because that's that's the one that's more generally used now it's, it's newer so uh, and just make your so, for, for those of you who don't really know what a virtual camera is, a virtual camera is exactly like what it sounds. It's, it allows you to, re, to zoom into objects on the screen. For example, if you have a background and you wish to zoom into it, instead of making the image larger, you can simply make this camera over here smaller and it will zoom into the image. So uh how we do this is um very simple first we're gonna make the skeleton for the virtual camera and i'm just gonna this is the box and i'm gonna make it a center for it so that's the center reference point so i'm gonna have four prongs sticking out each end and I'm just uh, doing this really quickly. If you spend more time on it, you can uh, make your camera look, uh, make it more precise. But I'm just uh, eyeballing it here. Just move this up. So once you have this, you want to do this, and you you want to uh, also. Uh, fill that hole over there. So just grab the tool and use a big brush and just fill it in. So there we go. So we have our camera constructed. So now what you want, what you want to do is select the whole thing, press Control, press F8, and in here change this to a movie clip make the registration point right in the center and name the symbol whatever you want because there are no instance names involved in the script and just hit OK now double click this and go inside and on this you want to press F8 again and select graphic and just name this uh, cam again registration point at the center and now just now what you have to do now you have your thing camera set up now you want to create a new layer and this layer just name it actions you can name it whatever you want but it's just for simplicity name it actions and then go to the windows and press on actions or just press the F9 key and it will pop up this window then copy the script uh, for ActionScript 3.0 if you're using ActionScript 3.0 or ActionScript 2.0 if you're using ActionScript 2.0 into the window you see over here. So I'm using ActionScript 3, so I'll copy the ActionScript 3 script and paste it here. And if you're wondering where you can find the script, it's uh, right on the side uh, on the description. I've uh, linked it. So um, you don't have to uh, go hunt for the script anywhere and I would go through explaining all after this action trip however the action trip 3.0 version is a little uh, more tedious uh, to understand than the action trip 2.0 version uh, a lot of you after you see the action trip 2.0 version you will understand it fairly well this this uh, script right here is um, the one I ha translated so from action tip 2 to action tip 3 obviously but uh, you may find scripts that might work a little more efficiently but this is the only way that I, 
I found that I could do it. So, the script works, and it works pretty well, I think. <laughs> it is my script, so. Uh, once you're done this, you're basically, ha you've finished your VCAM, and how you test it is you go back to scene one, create a new layer, and on the blank layer, just draw random shapes, possibly make them different colors. just so take the vcam put it on the top or uh, remember that this right here is for your reference only no one watching the animation will actually see the vcam so just do a simple motion tween I'm gonna create the classic tween and just make the size of the VCAM smaller. And as you will see, when I play the animation, it zooms in to the picture. So let me just slow that down a little bit so you can see it a little better. Let's slow down the animation and reduce the frames per second. And just, just preview this. And as you can see, as the motion tween goes in, you zoom into the picture. And as you can see, you, you also don't see the virtual camera. So, that's it. That's a VCAM. Again, Action Script 3 and Action Script 2. Nothing different other than the code. So, have fun with this, guys.